Hey guys, Knife Detector here. So this is part two of our series, of our Coke bottle cleanup series, okay? There's probably only gonna be one more video to this series after this one. It's probably going to be uh, just the end result. Now remember, my goal is not to get this thing to look perfect, eh, but just, you know, passable and acceptable for pocket carry, in my opinion, right? Everybody's opinions vary. Some of you guys might not want to carry a knife if it doesn't look absolutely perfect. Some of you guys may not care if all it has for a blade is a tiny little nub. You know, everybody's different, you know, and I lie somewhere in between that. So uh, after the first video, what we did is we did a cleanup with soap and water. You know, use my trusty old toothbrush. Look at that. And uh, to clean up some of the stuff that was in between. And um, we're going to take it to the next step. And the next step that I usually do is I take this little kit from O'Reilly's. It's a small screwdriver kit. And I take one of these little flatheads out, right? That little flathead. And what I do with that is I like to use that little flathead and I like to skim it around the bottom of the spring on the inside of the spring you probably can't see it that clearly sorry about the focus guys doing the best i can so i'm going to use it i'm going to scrape off some of the gook that's in there the hundred years of gook that's inside here and there is a lot believe you me there is a lot of rust and gook that is preventing the knife from closing correctly so we're, we may not get all of that but we're going to get a lot of it and then I'm going to scrape up here underneath the tang and on the other side of the tang down there as well. Because if you don't clean this area in here, then it's not going to allow you to uh, close it nice and proper. So this will help you get good snap. And if we clean it here, also if we clean in here, this area right there, notice how there's even a layer of something there. Could be rust, could be pockets sticky stuff who knows okay and in here too in fact let's start in here see that when you open the knife or close it about three quarters of the way you can expose that and what i do is i take this flathead and i scrape along here a little bit as far as it'll go and that may not seem like a lot to you but it does scrape off some of the gook in there and makes it a little smoother Now, after we do this scraping, see, I'm already getting some stuff on there. After we do this scraping, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, spray it with WD-40. And what that's going to do is it's just going to uh, get all that moisture out of there. Aside from the moisture, it's also going to uh, get some of this residual rust and pocket lint and gook that's in there. It's going to get some of that out and uh, what that'll do is that'll make it close a little better make it a little cleaner and besides why do you want somebody's hundred year old pocket lint in here you know there could even bleed dried blood in here all kinds of stuff so you want to go ahead and you want to clean this as best as you possibly can right let's check this out do a little bit of scraping right in here. Now you should try and, and, and I'm careful when I do this. I don't want to scratch it. I don't press too hard. And up here. There's not too much there. Just regular carbon buildup. And I know some of you guys that are purists and that really like to be very careful with your knives. Probably thinking, knife detector, are you scratching that knife up? And my answer to you is, I'm not doing any damage that wasn't already there. Let's see. Check that out. You see how it's scraping the gook off of there? So 
doesn't have to get everything, but as much as we possibly can, WD-40 is going to get a lot of that stuff that I'm going to break loose right now. It's going to get it off. Look at that, guys. Years and years of stuff. Now, this is just carbon buildup. There's not a lot of sticky stuff in here, so I'm going to leave that alone. Notice all the dents in this handle. This handle has seen a lot of stuff. Look at those little half-moon dents. you got to wonder if they used it to tap a nail in and use it as a hammer at one point. Tappity-tappity-tap, titty-tappity-tap-tap. And this sucker did not break. Look at that. Well, this piece did, but look at these deep grooves here where they're like, bam, bam, bam. They use it to hammer something in. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Snapping good or snapping better. Okay. Let's try and scrape the underside of that. And uh, in here. The springs. The springs that are rusty, rusty, rusty. Incredibly rusty. Let's see if we can see some of that in the light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hang on a sec, guys. Let me get a flashlight real quick. All right, don't you just hate it when your wife moves your flashlights? All I could find is this mag light that I uh, made out of two mag lights, two broken mag lights, blue one and a silver one. I didn't have, uh, both of them didn't work, but I got the parts from either one, including the bulb from one of them and made a working mag light. So, uh, all right, let's see. All right, notice how that side is getting much, much shinier. And then we still got a bunch of rusty gob gobbledygook on this side that we're about to get to. All right, that's where we're at. Let's clean a little bit more off of that. Then we're going to spray with some WD. And that'll pretty much be the end of this video section. Oh, check that out, guys. Yee, grody. Look at that. Where did that come from? See, this is the kind of thing that you work with when you buy these old knives, boys. Look at that beautiful, grungy lint. And that, my friends, came out of this knife. Let's get that out. Leave it with our poopy collection right there. Let's get something else. See what else we can get. Hmm, I wonder if that was preventing the knife from closing property. I'm starting to feel a little looseness on the bottom of that spring there. Maybe that was keeping the knife together. Who knows? Let's see. All right, let's see. Yeah, definitely a little looseness on that spring, but like I said, I suspect this knife is about 100 years old. Oh, dude, look at that. Check that out, dude. Jersey. Check it out, Jersey. Oh, man. This stuff came out of that knife. I know you're always mentioning how those Rough Rider knives, when you buy them brand new, they're dirty. Are they ever this dirty, Jersey? Are they ever that dirty? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That is some scary stuff. And y'all wonder why I clean these knives when I buy them, right? These used knives. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. This is not for the faint of heart. No, sir. All right, let's see what we got here. That's looking a bit better. Mm, yeah, quite a bit better. Look at that. Quite a bit better. You know what I think? I think it's time for WD. Let's check the snapping on this sucker. Ooh, did you see that? That half stop? Open. That was kind of loud. Half stop. Oh, yeah. Let's check the closed. 
Oh, not great, guys. The clothes is still not great. Oh, well. I have a feeling it's just a very tired spring, but uh, maybe we can improve on it a little. Let's see what we got here. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to hold it in this position and see if I can zoom out a bit. We're going to move this gobbledygook out of here. We're going to put this right here. Then I'm going to take my trusty WD. I'm going to use the the uh, straw attachment. I'm going to spray liberally in here. And uh, we're going to let it go down. We're going to let it go down all the way down there. And we're just going to let it soak. Going to let that soak in there. All right. Let's let that run down a little. I close my WD. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to use my rust sponge. My rust sponge is basically an old kitchen sponge that I retired, and I use it to clean off some of that rust. This ain't going to get all of the rust, but it'll get a lot of it. And then to finish off what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to use some uh, fine grit sandpaper. Start cleaning this blade the rest of the way. Okay, let's shoot that with a little bit more WD. And that'll conclude this video, boys and girls. Now, after this, I may not uh, show it, I might, is me using some fine grit sandpaper to polish off the blade. And, uh, and, um, And also, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. Uh, polish off the blade and also clean the bolsters. All right, signing off, guys. This has been part two of the Coke bottle knife cleanup. Y'all take care. God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep your knife sharp. Keep your wits sharper and keep them clean too, guys.